this uh, international association, the Communication Institute of Greece. It is my privilege and pleasure, on behalf of the Institute and the Academic and Organizing Committee of this conference, to welcome you all here today. The Communication Institute of Greece is an international association of <coughs> academics, researchers and professionals from all around the world, with a mission to create a forum where we can meet, exchange experiences and ideas about the development of our discipline by the organization of international events, the promotion of research and the production of publication. Actually, we have about 300 ambassadors. This is how we like to call our <coughs> academic members uh, because we consider them the ambassadors in their country and their universities. And we are very, very proud of this from 67 different countries <coughs> around the world. We consider that education and intercultural communication can improve our lives. Educating ourselves is what we need to develop in a fruitful environment. Socrates has said Greeks are determined by education. And I rephrase, we are all determined by education. Socrates, Plato and Aristotle would all be proud to see that many years after you are here to represent them. You do not need to be Greek by birth, just to have the spiritual wisdom, the passion and the will to create something positive and better. This year we are privileged to organize three different international conferences. So the fifth international conference of communication and management that we are actually attending, by the way. Uh, the International Hellenic Conference on Political Science uh, that is from the 17th to the 20th of April and the International Conference on Education from the 13th to 16th of May this year. Thanks to all the hard work of our international endorsers, conference leaders and ambassadors, Academic and Organizing Committee, this conference welcomes academics from 22 different countries around the world. So I name them Egypt, Italy, USA, Australia, Greece, Spain, Latvia, Lithuania, Denmark, China, Nigeria, Turkey, Thailand, India, Albania, France, Nepal, Israel, Japan, Belgium and Canada. We are delighted to have all of you with us here today. Thank you for coming. The fact that many of you have traveled long distances to be here serves as a reminder to us all just how important our work is. Make a bridge between civilization, educate, communicate, exchange, cooperate, listen effectively and mainly act. A special welcome to our conference endorsers and leaders, Dr. Michael Altamirano uh, from King Graduate School, Monroe College University. Michael, you may stand up. <laughs> Mr. Luis Caleb Hermanta from University of Versailles, uh, France, that is also our photographer for the day. So he represents. Dr. Andreas Beglis and his team from School of Journalism and Mass Communication from the University of Thessaloniki, Greece, that also endorses the conference. Ad additionally, I, I don't say here, but she will be here. Dr. Caroline Ricard Monroe. Ah, she's here. here, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, Caroline. <laughs> Welcome. That will also deliver the works of uh, charting new directions for multi generational uh, unity in the workplace on tomorrow's <coughs> first session. Dr. Carl Hayes Bogner uh, from uh, Hello, Compensation <laughs> and Dr. Michael Nebrakakis from Diri, the American College of Greece. Welcome. And also a very warm welcome to the President of EUSED, European Union Cooperation and Economic Development, Dr. Manuel Pereira. We are privileged to have uh, him here today, Dr. Pereira. Our institute is an associate member of EUSED and I'm personally grateful to represent EUSED as its regional 
Vice President for Greece. So it's a big honor and, and a big responsibility as well. Uh, we are honored to have all of you here today, all esteemed academics and specialists in your field. The important though is not your impressive curriculum and position, but your brilliant personality and remarkable activity. My personal experience from our collaboration can be characterized to less than exceptional. We have prepared some certificates uh, of excellence for you that we would like to give you right now as a sign of our excellent collaboration. So